Hello, I'm here to provide further explanation, which I hope will be clarifying for you as to what you are to um, or what you are expected to do uh, with regards to the uh, capstone uh, essay that comprises 30% of your final grade uh, in AMH 2020. Uh, so having uh, said that, let's begin. I'm going to take you over to the Canvas page uh, for our class. Uh, you are looking at this in student view so that you are looking at the same vantage uh, that you would um, when you log in there um, on your end as Canvas students. Um, I want you to scroll down to the link labeled assignments where you will click on it. Now, there are actually going to be three separate parts of the capstone essay project that you will be turning in that will make up grades that will compose that category. The first of those three assignments is something called the capstone uh, prospectus survey. So let me just make sure that we are sharing what I'd like for you to look at. Here we are. So this is the Canvas page for our class. I am under the assignments link uh, or the label, the tab marked for assignments. This is how I got to this page. And I'm going to scroll down to where it says Capstone Prospectus Survey. That's the first item that is a part of the Capstone project that you are expected to turn in for a grade. As you can see here, it's worth 10 points. And this survey is due on the 17th of February. By clicking on this link, you will be taken to this page where it says that you will be turning in a prospectus and a separate assignment. This is a survey that you're being asked to complete, and its purpose is to get you thinking about the direction, the direction you think you may want to take uh, first with your prospectus and then ultimately with the capstone essay itself. Again, as it says here, surveys are due February 17th. If you click on a link uh, or on the button rather that will say start survey, you'll be taken to the two questions that I'm asking you to uh, complete. Uh, you're going to be provided with a range of options. First question, which approach are you leaning toward taking with your capstone project? The second question is asking which uh, major topic or era of American history that we cover in 2020 uh, will be of the most interest to you. Again, you'll, you'll be provided with a range of options there. You'll select one and then you will hit submit quiz. And by hitting Submit Quiz, this assignment will then be marked complete uh, in my gradebook. It's really one of those things where if you do it, you get the points. If you don't do it, you don't get the points. So there's really no right way or wrong way to do this assignment other than to not do it at all. So that is the first of the three activities associated with the capstone essay that you will have to turn in for a grade. The second of the three activities is labeled here, Capstone Essay Prospectus. I'm going to click on that link, and I'm going to be taken to this page. The directions here read, the Capstone Prospectus enables you to crystallize and communicate your idea in order to win its approval. Partially completed prospectuses will not be graded. The completed prospectus must be reviewed, graded, and approved before you begin work on your capstone project. The assignment is due March 3rd, but can be turned in as early as January 24th. I'm not expecting anyone watching this video to have turned in a prospectus on this assignment today, which is the date of January 24th, because you're not even really clear on what it is you're being asked to do with the capstone essay yet. This is just to underscore the point that the submission link will be made available to you at any point. You're able to turn the prospectus in. You don't have to wait until March the 3rd to do that. In fact, my preference is that you turn it in sooner rather than later, 
so that I can get uh, feedback to you in as timely a manner as I can. Now, what exactly is a prospectus? Well, as it says here, the prospectus is not expository. It is a persuasive essay. Your goal with the capstone essay prospectus is to convince me that this project falls within the scope of AMH 2020 and that it will reflect one of the two approaches mentioned in the instructions. Your prospectus should be one to two pages double spaced. It should also include a list of sources you plan to consult, which is a minimum of three. And it should be submitted by the due date listed, which again is March the 3rd. Student samples can be found below. As it says here, sample three is my personal favorite because everything about it, from how it is headed to how it was written, is ideal for this assignment. I'm going to strongly encourage you to review these examples that were provided or have been provided to you so that you can, through modeling what these past students have done, um, be closer to meeting expectations for your own prospectus. Uh, these were obviously um, prospectuses that I thought met the requirements. Uh, you'll see why when you read through them. Um, and, and so you should accordingly model your work after theirs, okay? Going back to assignments now. I'm now going to scroll down until I come to the link labeled Final Capstone Essay. I will click on it. And here I will come to the directions um, explaining what exactly the capstone is. It says, this semester you will read some of the classic works of fiction and nonfiction that have helped to define American society since 1865. For the capstone essay, students will choose at least one of this semester's supplemental reading selections, which has been linked for you here, that relate to either the theme of citizenship or the theme of justice. In addition to one of the course's reading selections, you will be required to use two additional sources, one of, much, one of which must be a primary source. When you click on the link embedded here, you'll be taken to a video that explains for you what a primary source is. And in addition to defining what a primary source is, you will actually be given some examples of primary sources that you may use uh, in completion of this assignment. Now, just as you have a choice in the reading selections you choose, you also have a choice in which approach you will take in your essay. Your essays will answer one of the two following questions. How do the selections you've chosen reflect either a challenge associated with being a citizen in the United States or an advantage of being a citizen in the United States? So think about that. You may also decide that you want to, in your essays, define what justice actually means. How would you define justice in American society? And how do the readings and sources you've chosen support your definition of justice? Now, please note, I'm asking you to do one or the other here, not both, okay? And no, you can't do both for extra credit. Please decide which approach you'd rather take and then. Um, proceed accordingly. As it stated uh, earlier, a prospectus will be required. The prospectus that you complete will be submitted in Canvas on or before the announced due date. Final drafts for the final capstone essays will be graded according to the following criteria. Number one, its final length must be between five to six double-spaced pages at a minimum which would also include citations. We're going to be using the MLA style of source citations. Number two, all reading selections used in the course must be cited. Sources from non-TCC academic databases from the internet are strictly prohibited. So in other words, this is not a, a chance or a situation where you can just merely Google 
your topic and then, you know, go with the first couple of things that pop up. You will be expected to use academically credible sources that you can obtain through one of our academic databases that our librarians are going to be giving you some additional instruction on how to access, which is why you will be attending the library workshop scheduled uh, for the day and time that was announced in class. The third thing that I'm looking for is a thesis with supporting information for that thesis. You will also be graded on grammar and formatting, which also includes citing your sources. And the rubric that I will be using to grade your essays is shown for you here. Now, as this asterisk point, uh, asterisk point states, extra credit will be awarded for either using smart thinking or the TCC Learning Commons with help with your writing. Proof of consultation will be required and you'll be submitting that alongside your essay at the time that you turn it in. Defining either citizenship or justice a certain way, narrowly or broadly, will affect your ability to analyze the topic in relation to your chosen readings and to historical events. I would like for you to link the overall topic not only to your chosen selections, but also to the historical events that are covered in class. I apologize. Um, I was, uh, I'm pretty sure that my, my audio might have faded out there momentarily. So let me just go back and repeat the last paragraph here. Defining either citizenship or justice a certain way, narrowly or broadly, will affect your ability to analyze the topic in relation to your chosen readings and to historical events. Link the overall topic not only to your chosen selections, but also to historical events either covered in class that we've gone through already or that will be covered in class that deal with either citizenship or matters of justice. Remember, in this case, that thinking matters more than style in your paper, but grammar and sentence structure errors often reveal cracks in thinking. So papers that demonstrate the most depth of thinking on either the topic of citizenship or justice will receive the highest scores. Final essays are due on Monday, April 17th. And just as I did for the prospectus, I provide three sample essays for you all to take a look at so that you can get an idea of what you need to do in order to successfully complete this assignment. Now, I understand that doing an assignment of this magnitude is probably new for some of you and that some of you are probably understandably apprehensive. Don't be. I'm here to help you. And among some of the tools that I will be providing for you, other than the workshop that I'm asking you to attend on the day um, and place um, that was announced in class earlier, um, I will also be placing in Canvas, and I will let you know when these are available, links for um, office consultations with me that you can schedule uh, that will answer any additional questions that you may have related to this project. So don't be apprehensive. Don't be nervous. Uh, working together, we can put together a great capstone um, product one that you'll be proud of and one that will hopefully earn you the, the kind of grade that you're hoping to earn that will contribute to the overall success you're looking to have in this class.